people trickling in here. I bet we have a lot of Minnesotans this morning. How was it? If you haven't been outside yet, I've been outside. It's really, really chilly. In fact, my fingers were almost about ready to fall off. And I'm a, I'm a true Minnesotan. I live, I grew up here. You think you'd get used to it, but you never do. All right, we still have people trickling in and I promise we will stay on time. I know it's a Tuesday, many of you have to get to the salon, but we just wanna open it up while everybody um, is together here. Can you guys believe it's already the middle of January? It's crazy. What's nice though, what makes it exciting is that we at Easy Hair Pro have this exciting product to launch. It really did help me get out of bed. I was really excited to join the call this morning because I'm like, fun, I'm going to make your life easier. So I think what we're going to do is, what time is it? Can somebody tell me? Um, can everybody hear me? Everybody, yeah. okay, I'm giving a thumbs up. If somebody is saying if they can't hear, um, please check your computers. You might be on mute on your computer or check your volume to make sure that that is working as well. All righty. So why don't we begin, you guys? Thank you so much for joining in on this call to learn more about the new undetectable 13 inch tape row. There is so much excitement about this new method and there are also a lot of questions. And let me tell you something, this is a game changer. And I will tell you at Easy Hair Pro, we feel like this will be the method of the year. We are here to make your life easier. And today what we're gonna be covering is a couple demonstrations so that you can no, see the usage of the product. product. Please, can you hurry? Because school's already started. Everybody, if you can put your um, computer on mute, that would be great. So what we're going to cover today is a couple demonstrations so that you can see the flexibility and the usage of the product. You are also going to see who is it targeted for, whether you're a guest or why would a stylist want to use this method? Another thing we're gonna cover is what I call the remarkable removal. You will be amazed at how easy that it will remove itself from the head. So I'm Gina and I am a salon development partner here for Easy Hair Pro. I have, I am here with Katie Giles today. She is a master hey. trainer. Yeah, I Katie. Get hey, in everyone. our cozy. She's a master trainer, Easy <laughs> Hair Pro, and she has actually okay. helped develop okay. this yeah. product and has been working with it for under, for, for a little under a year. And she has also helped design the education that backs up the method. So with that being said, let's just dive in. How does that sound? Oh, wait, I want to also say one more thing. We do have Alexandra Howard. She is from New York and she is managing the Zoom call from behind. So if you have any questions, there is a chat window below. Please enter them there and we will address those questions at the very, very end. Most likely we will be covering a lot of the questions already, but let's save that and let's begin. So come on up, Jenna. Jenna will be our first model today. Good morning. And before I put this dark cape on, what I want to show you about Jenna's hair is she has a medium amount of it. We'll lower this just a little bit so you can see it against the white. And she's just been doing glazes to her hair to just kind of give her that soft bronze look. You can see that her ends are a little transparent. She wants some blonde in her hair and she wants some density, but she wants to be nice to her hair. So for her, she didn't always love wearing the rope because that's just a lot of hair, but she didn't love the original tape. Sometimes that was too many different points of contact. I'm, I'm sorry. 
But if there was something in the mm. middle, and if you're not on mute, if you could mute yourself, we would greatly appreciate it. All right, so I got it all draped up. I already did the pull test and we already did a before photo. So what we thought we would do for Jenna is to do one row using our 18 to 20 inch English choppy, the 6N10 CG for a little pop of chemical free color, some fullness, and to give her just a tiny little bit of length. On that note, I'll hand it back to Gina while I do our application. Do you want to know how cute the boxes are even yeah. too? So I bet you guys are all wondering, how does it come? We have new pink boxes that the hair comes in. And I will. Okay, sorry, one moment. Katie and Gina, you're gonna have to unmute your microphone. I had to mute everyone and then you just have to undo it and then we'll be good to go. All right, I don't know when we hit mute, so I apologize. Hopefully you heard everything else before that. Yeah. But Gina was just saying that our wefts are 13 inches wide and then what was that one? And they come in 14 to 16 inches, 18 to 20, 22 to 24. Ooh. Now with the traditional tape band, the longest length that you can get is the 20 inches. The other thing that you can, um, that you should know about these are, you can customize oh, a look for your guests. <laughs> for dancing. You can actually cut these. What? One, another thing too, that's really important that I want to hit upon. The density of these wefts, to give you an idea, is comparable to two boxes of hand-tied wefts. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of comparison here. Now, granted, these wefts aren't the exact same length. Can everybody see this while she's doing the sectioning? I'm gonna come up in the camera here a little bit more. You can see this is one box of hand-tied, and this is one box of the undetectable tape row. You're gonna notice a big difference in the density. So that, you know, people are probably wondering about price. So it isn't any more expensive for this box as if you were to spend two box, purchase two boxes of hand tied and one box of this, the price is exactly the same. Does that make sense? So it's a two to one ratio. Sometimes that's hard to explain. <laughs> that is amazing. So basically, if we just like simplify and say full volume, right? So we know full volume for our tape ins is two boxes. We know full volume for our hand tied, whether it be with our slim wefts or whether it be with our hand tied wefts, two boxes, four wefts is the same as one box for full volume of our undetectable row of the 13 inch undetectable tape which I'm going to start applying on Jenna right now. And I can just take a little bit off at a time and you can see that the hair is injected out of the top of it, just like with our two inch regular undetectable tape ins. Sorry, I've got some cords over there. I have to laugh. So, and what else you might notice, I don't know if you can tell from that angle is when we do our taped row, something kind of fun is we can get so much coverage, but also we can do a little bit steeper of an angle like we do when we are doing our sewn methods. So again, what I love with Jenna is she loves the easeability and the lightweightness of tape. I'm sorry that my back is against the thing here, but just for all the cords we've got going on, I'm just going to keep working my way around. But she loves the easeability and the lightweightness of our tape, but she doesn't like having points of contact all over her head. So having the 13 inch undetectable row, which again, 13 inches wide, sometimes that might not fit for her. Even it though she's perfectly. a tiny little peanut, it actually fit quite perfectly. We're gonna get all the coverage of a sewn method, but with the easeability of the tape. Now that just took me a couple minutes to put that top part on. I'm now gonna flip it over because just like when we do our original tapes to do the top, let the density dictate, it's gonna grab all the hair that it needs. And then I'm gonna apply the bottom. Also notice I was just taking it off. As I was working my way around, we're going to admit this person in here. Here we go. And again, this is just a little, a little seed plant. Here we go. All right, so we're going to keep on going. So again, we've got our top one on, and I'm going to flip it on up, and then we're going to apply the bottom just like we do with our original tape. 
One thing that I want to highlight as well is if a lot of you haven't used the undetectable before, the difference between the undetectable versus the original tape is the panel construction is different. So the hair is coming out of the panel versus down. So you can go a little higher. It gives the appearance as though it's coming right directly out of the scalp. Can you light chop a little for me? And that's why when we do, when she finishes the application, a lot of people like that invisible look. So when you apply the second weft, both wefts are undetectable. So when you lift it up, it will again appear as though it's your own hair. Yes, and that's what we absolutely love about it. And again, it's just, it's so lightweight. So she's going to have hair in her face for just a minute. So she knows not to touch anything. We've already talked about it. Just like when you are doing a sewn method and you have all those little webs delicately marked in place, same thing. And so now I have to be careful because I'm going to apply from the bottom. So I have to take my tape off from the opposite side. I'm going to keep working my way around. She's going to tilt her head a little bit for me. And I'll work my way around so you'll see what I'm doing as I get closer. Jenna, how does this feel so far? Is it comfortable? Yeah, it feels super comfortable. Awesome. There we go. It's very comfortable to wear. And again, that's why we take just a little bit of tape off as a time, and we just keep on rocking it over. Super easy, making sure I'm getting that nice and even panel alignment. Here we go. And again, walking this over, getting all those little extra hairs out of here. Every little hair matters. We're in Minnesota, so you're getting way. a lot of static. Static central. <laughs> and oh, we definitely clarified her this morning. So she has no conditioner, no product in her hair, which is important for our tape in prep. Well, really all of our methods. So again, just taking a little bit off as I go, using my metal towel to not touch any of the backing of that tape and just keep seamlessly aligning it as I go. And there we are. You can see how easy that was. Now we know one of our favorite things with Easy Hair Pro, time is money, right? We talk about how you can make more while working less. We also talk about the rate per hour. So whether you're a colorist, a generalist, just a cutter, doesn't matter. By doing hair additions, it's a great way to increase your rate per hour. If you think about that, doing a full volume of tape, right? You break that down. We allow 30 minutes, but we all know we can do it in way less time than that. That's about 1667 per minute. If we think about our sewn methods, you know, that's roughly around 19 or $20 per minute. Ladies and gentlemen, with this tape roll, you saw how fast that was. You're averaging about $45 per minute for your rate per minute. Look at how fast that was. So there's Jenna's one box, one row of the English toffee, the six and 10 CG, perfectly aligned. Again, just like with our sewn methods, a little bit more of an angle. With our tapes, we don't allow more than 10 degrees through the side. For this, we can do a little bit more so it nicely hugs the head shape. Now let's drop down her biological hair and let's see that chemical free color. Are you kidding me right now? Without even cutting it, because just like with our sewn method, it has that variated end of that 18 to 20. Look how beautiful that is without even cutting it. And show the back. I know it's gonna drop that down a little bit. Let's flip her around. So again, haven't even cut it yet. You can see the static electricity here as we're living in an igloo. Here we are. I'm gonna just spray a little bit of our VIP volume powder. We can be that just to help with that static electricity. Got a couple of them over here. We love our Care Stash products that reflects the lawn. Here we are. So again, can everyone see that without even cutting it? Look at how beautiful that, that already seamlessly blends, right? And again, how fast was that? So we'll finish her after, but that is Jenna's one row application. Thank you so much, Ms. Jenna. And this is considered this is considered a full volume transformation, which is a one box. And I believe we won't go down the rabbit hole quite yet about like the pricing and things like that. Yeah, we can cover that at the end. Yeah. But the one thing that I want to highlight about this is it doesn't matter your skill set, whether you're a beginner or whether you're very seasoned, the learning curve for learning this system is very easy. And some people ask me, why would I um, want to do this? over um, maybe hand tied. And what I have found is a lot of people, we love hand tied, it's not one or the other, because we believe that you should have education in all different types of method. I will say, however, if you have struggled with sewing 
and you haven't really perfected that application, this is probably the next step for you while you continue to perfect your sewing when it comes to hand tied. And the flexibility, we're gonna show you to some, another application really quick, cause yeah. we're gonna keep this moving. The flexibility is amazing because you Thanks, can Jenna. cut them and we will Thank show you. how you're gonna cut them. Do you wanna them. do the custom color one or do we wanna do the cut in half reap one? Let's do the custom color All one. Right. Miss Julie, come on down. Julie also does a lot of Easy Hair Pro behind the chair, just like our last nugget Jenna did. So Julie is in the process of trying to go lighter with her hair color. She hates when those grays start to come in. I get it, girl, me too. So she's like, gosh, I want to do something because I miss having all my hand tied in, but I'm not ready to commit to something because I'm not sure where my hair color is fully going to end up. I want to keep going as light as I can. For those of you that have met Miss Julie before, she's an amazing hairdresser, cutting educator, but she also had very red hair. So this is her color transformation. And again, she's going to be getting some more highlights. But what I love about all things Easy Hair Pro is we know the quality of the hair, right? So this was the 10 and B 12 n in the 14 to 16 inch length. And what we love about this is you can custom color it. So we were able to go in and root it and add a little bit of that golden blend. So we can now go in and give her that little bit of custom color. So that's what we're going to do for Miss Julie. So again, we're going to start out by sectioning her. We did do a before photo and the pull test, of course, as usual. So we're gonna go on in and get this started. And I'm gonna do the one row on her yet again. So while you are sectioning her, um, Alexandra, do we have any questions from the field? Yes, yeah, so we do have a couple so far. The first one is how quick is removal? And then what is the longevity of these wefts? Ooh, great question. Great question. I'm going to reserve the removal until after this application how about. So if we can hang tight on that. And do you want to talk about the longevity? Sure. The longevity, gosh, you know, every client is totally different. So lifestyle and all that is going to definitely take a play into that. Um, some people go six to eight weeks like our normal tapes. We have to remember that gravity does play a part, right? So um, depending on if they're, they have a really active lifestyle, maybe they work out a lot or, you know, take a lot of hot showers, um, they can slip a little bit faster. So definitely on the six to eight week side, I personally like mine when they're grown up. I'm currently wearing a full length transformation and I can, we'll get under the hood and I'll show you mine after. Mine have been like 10 weeks, I think. And I love it. <laughs> I like it when it's grown out. It feels so comfortable. <laughs> But well, we're recommending an easier pro six to eight weeks. Yeah, I know. Everybody does extend the life of their extensions, let's be honest. But from a professional standpoint, what I like to really encourage is to have that guest come between six to eight weeks because then you're booking your books a lot more per year and the retention rate is going to be higher with your guest. So even though you guys see... Uh, that as a positive that they can wear their extensions longer, like with hand tied. My gosh, some people go beyond. And that's a little extreme. The weeks, yes. <laughs> but it's really harming the stylists because we want to have them come back to have them reapplied just like you would with a haircut or a hair color. The other thing that I want to remind people is the longer you go with your extensions, we are all about integrity. The longer you go, that is when the damage can happen. And that's when brushes and combs and everything really get caught in that big, long outgrowth. So just be about integrity. Really encourage your guests to pre-book their next appointment six to eight weeks, depending on how quickly their hair grows. I absolutely love that. And yes, while I'm a renegade, that's something I'll touch base on with my clients. Oh, that's right. We can cut these just like with our slim wefts. Here we go. I'm going right up on in. We break that down during a training though. So we'll get into that later. Um, but what I do tell all of my guests, and this is what we definitely recommend at Reflex Salon is, hey, we're saying six to eight weeks. Um, if you take good care of the hair, we definitely have a six month warranty. It will last an amount of time. However, you need to purchase the proper home care. You need to purchase the proper, you know, brush, the easier pro brush, the Russian brush, dry shampoo, the shampoo, the conditioner, all of the things. And that can help definitely extend the life. And if we stick with the telling them six to eight weeks, then they're not going to be calling you at five weeks being like, girl, this slipped. I think I need a redo. It's like, I think not. Now, some of you probably noticed that I just decided to cut this a little bit. And the reason is, is 
even though Julie has a ton of hair, she has a tiny little head. So it wasn't going to fully fit where I wanted it to. So I just decided to cut it right in half. The less cuts we do, the better, of course, because we want to be able to do plenty of reapplications with this and let her get the longevity out of it and give us more options with where we're going to place it. So I'm just doing the one side first. So I just cut it right in half. I did round the corner. And again, density dictates how much hair is going to be in there. And she does have a scar right there. So for if anybody saw that, that's just a scar. It's not a bald spot or anything from any traction alopecia or anything bad. Here we go. And that was also part of my reason for wanting to cut this in half. I love flexibility. that flexibility and how you can customize that to fit the guest head. And also it will allow you to mix and match colors as well. Absolutely. You can also do seamless layering where if you purchase two boxes, you can put a shorter length on top and a longer length on the bottom, which also helps what? With getting more movement to the hair. Less cutting. Less cutting. If you're afraid to cut extensions, that is the perfect application. Save yourself money and save yourself time. And then you don't freak your client out with all that hair on the floor. Like, why did I have to pay for all that hair if you're just gonna chop it all off? We go and drop that down. Julie, how does that feel so far? Feels very comfortable. Good, because I wanted it to get close enough to her face. Can you turn it to the side? Yeah, here? and actually let's go all the way around. We'll do a little full circle. There we are. So look at exhibit A compared to exhibit B. That chemical free color. Oh my gosh. This never gets old, you guys. I agree. Transformations. I, I, I'm always speechless and it never gets old and I can watch them happen all day long. <laughs> it, it, it's fun to do them in the salon because it's yeah. it, um, crazy. Katie, I'm going to jump in here because we have a question related to this application. So someone asked, why cut it in half instead of finding the proper fit and cutting one end off to shorten the whole weft? Oh, I love that question. Great question. So why am I just cutting it in half instead of finding that perfect fit and cutting a little bit off? Because the clients want to keep all the hair as much as possible, right? So the less cuts we do, the better. So this is going to allow me to get the coverage where I want, which is closest to her face. This is where she needs the most coverage. So it's going to allow me to do that. And then I'll have the tiniest little gap in the back. And we're more than fine with that because she has so much density back here. We wanted it as full and as far forward to the front as her biological hair was going to let us. And her hairline, of course, too, right? Because we all have a lot of different real estate going on. Here we go. I'm going to address something else too. The original tape-ins, our two-inch guys, are not going away. No. You know, you will still be able to pop them in um, in the front of the face to give even more coverage. And also, though the little originals are intended for the mini volume or the partial volume. This method is really designed for full volume and full length. So the other little guys aren't going to be going away. You would just do a hybrid with them. And you can also do a hybrid if you're doing hand tied as well. I love that. And you'll see that on our next model as well, which is going to be the hybrid. You'll see it being or incorporated into with the sew method. And then you'll see where we can do many different types of cuts. Or I'll show you my hair at the end, like I said, as well. And I know Gina's wearing the hybrid also. Um, you know, I have a one inch of where I cut a little piece up on mine and then one full row and then a row and half. So, so many different options. Katie, another question for you. So yeah. someone asked, is this weight and density of the panels okay for fine hair? And then will a single-sided tape option be available so you can use just one box? So is yeah. it good for fine hair? And then will single-sided tape be an option? Those are great questions. Okay, so is it great for fine hair? Yes, of course, I still did the pull test. And if somebody is like absolutely worried about it, then I would recommend starting with our original tape first because like Gina said, they are only two inches wide. So they are weighted to hair replacement standards. This is a lot more hair, right? We know that one box of this or one full um, taped row of our undetectable tape is the same as two boxes or four wefts of our sewn method. So that's a lot of hair in one row if they're not used to it. So when in doubt, just try original tape first, but it is so lightweight. When I personally wear our sewn method, I'll wear six wefts in one row. So only having the weight and the density of four felt really light to me. Um, 
so much so that I was comfortable wearing two rows, which anyone that knows me knows I'm typically not. So here we are, and this is gonna kind of maybe answer that question as to why I cut it in half. I'm great having that little bit of the gap back here because again, for Julie, we wanted that density through the sides. And there's that chemical free color that matches her fringe area. We're gonna drop this down. That person, there we go. And let's see, and then will single-sided tape be available? It's not right away, but we will be getting it. However, until um, until that time, you can still use our regular single-sided tape to just go back to back with uh, taping the back of it. We've already been getting creative, let me tell you. And that's one thing that I wanna highlight with the education, we'll go over, there are different options on how to get started. Oh. One of the things with live education or insulin education is, they are going to be providing multiple ways on how to use this. You're just getting a snapshot today, but they will be addressing, okay, I have a fine hair guest. What is the best way to apply this in the application and tips and tricks? Again, Miss Julie, without even cutting, look at that little bit of length, little bit think? of fullness, chemical free color. What do you think, Miss Julie? I love it. What does everyone else think? What is it? What do you think? Show me your I don't know what's going on in the chat, your but on. you're liking it. Amazing? Show us some love. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. And then last but not least, where is she? And then Let's one more question, if I can jump in again. Um, someone asked, so sometimes tapes loosen or come up in between maintenance. Will these loosen? And if so, how do we fix? I think she means before the appointment. Can you ask, can you say that again? I apologize. What was the question? Sometimes tapes loosen or come up in between maintenance. Will the, they loosen? And if so, how do we fix? Um, and so that's where it all comes down to the proper preparation, which is why you saw that with Miss Julie and with Miss Jenna, they both had like major static electricity going on because we truly want to be clarifying the hair. Come on down, Ange. We want to be clarifying the hair, you know, with our Easy Hair Pro clarifying shampoo and then no conditioner or if any, just like the tiniest bit through the mids and ends and no product on it. Um, I haven't had any issues with slipping on mine as of yet, but if it's a slippage issue, I would go back to, did we apply it properly? Did we not touch the back of the tape? Because again, we have oils on our fingers. Um, and then are they taking care of it? Right. Product usage. Product usage. Yeah. Are they using the proper like approved shampoos, conditioners? Are they using the Easy Hair Pro brushes, the Easy Hair Pro brush and brush dry shampoo? Like what are they using? Because is it you or is it me? And breaking it down that way. So if Another tip that we didn't share is when they come out of the box, what I would do is to um, really flatten them. You can take the your flat iron and tap the panel so that it lays even extra flat so that they will adhere together even more tightly. Well, yeah, and I love that pro tip, Gina. Thank you for that. Because again, just like with our original tapes, we know that when in doubt, tap it out, right? So that their heat and um, pressure activated. So if you are going to tap that panel with a flat iron to make sure that the backing of the tape is secured to that polyurethane panel, that's just going to help give you longevity. And like Gina just shared, it's also going to help smooth out any kinks that could be in the panel. So Angie Strickland, who's one of our Easy Hair Pro educators, um, she's currently wearing one row. Are you wearing undetectable or are you wearing? Yes. Oh, she is. She's wearing our sewn method of undetectable. So it looks like she's got some hand tied wefts in here. So again, she's got one row. And how many wefts do you have going on in here? Six. So she's wearing, she's like me, we're renegades, we want all the hair. So she's wearing one row with six wefts. And again, she has a very tiny little head. So there's no way that I could get this all the way around. So we actually just took these out this morning and then clarified her hair. So we did the 10 and B12N in that 14 to 16 inch length and we cut it in half, just like we did for Julie. So we're gonna go ahead and put these back in. Angie, did you like them when they were closer to your face or further away? Close. Closer, all right. And again, because it's undetectable and it matches her biological hair color, how good can I go. show them while oh. you're sectioning? Please okay, look at we took that 13 inch weft. We have one, two, ah, uh, three, four panels. Oh, so yeah. you're getting another demonstration on flexibility with the product. It's so funny how we just keep adding more and more and more hair. 
We can never we have it. enough. Can we, we never can have enough. And that's what we love about, again, undetectable. I'm trying to hold up to see where I took this one from. All right, here we go. And then again, we break this down into training. I'm just going to make sure I round the corners here so it's nice and comfortable for her. Just like our normal tapes. All right, take the back off. So again, when we're doing that full row, we just take a little bit off at a time when I'm working with just a little bit of width. I can take it all off at once. And again, making sure I really drop it down far enough, that quarter of an inch or the height of the panel. We have found another pro tip, when, if, if anything with the taped row to drop it down even a little bit further. We go so really firmly pushing that down. Again, really pushing that top row down, just like with our original tape. Dunsey is gonna dictate how much hair should be in there. Get that all up and over, because we always do. Top first. And then the bottom, not putting too much pressure on that. Here we are. Okay. Katie, someone asked, can you also cut the two inch undetectable tapes? I mean, we never recommend it, but absolutely. You totally can. Does that void the warranty? Yes, it does. Just like when I colored Julie's, even though I was using the color space demi color, it still voids the warranty, but I check washed it first to make sure that there wasn't anything wrong with the wefts. I've never had that issue with Easy Hair Pro, but because we have that amazing six month warranty, it's important to always do so. So there's our first one on the one side. So again, look at one side compared to the other. Which one looks a little better? The one that's out of the hair too, right? We're gonna get her nice and dizzy here and spin her back around this way. Here we go. Well, I wanna go back to that question about the undetectable two inch yeah. tape in. One of the other reasons why you absolutely can cut it, but just be mindful that when you wanna reuse that product, taping that, the tape is two inches in length. So you're gonna to have to be mindful of retaping that and it might be a little bit more difficult, but um, I love that. You know, keep that in mind. No, oh, thanks, Tina. And then as it pertains to our original tapes, right? We know that they're just like our undetectable, they're two inches wide, quarter of an inch tall, but also within that, they're polyurethane and then they're triple cross stitch, which is part of that anti shed technology. So, with that, if we're going to cut those original panels, those two inch panels, we're going to be breaking up part of that anti shed so they could, you know, shed a little bit faster, which nobody wants that, right? We want to have all the hair possible. And then this is a really good question. So someone asked, so if one end is coming undone or a small portion of this tape row, would you have to remove all 13 inches and retape, or could there be another way to solve? You know, that's a great question. I haven't experienced that yet. So I would just, if anything, like just make sure that they're pinching their panels, right? They're heat and pressure activated. So even like, where's mine in here somewhere? Let me find it. Where are you? Right, here's the end of one of my panels. I just make sure that I'm pinching. So I'm making sure, and I show my clients this, and this is why one of our five best practices at Easy Hair Pro is, you know, you have to wear it to share it. I can authentically talk about it, right? And then, you know, using the proper brush so I can show them how to properly brush the hair so they're not going in with like a paddle brush and like something that's gonna cause it to slip out or, or rip it out. And that seems to be a common question today. So the other little reminder that I would tell you is, or ask, are you putting enough pressure when you're closing? Like, you know, are you adding enough top pressure? One. Yeah, pressure. Absolutely. You really want them to feel when you're putting that top one down. That's where you're really firmly pressing down a few times. And again, when I'm doing the bottom one and I'm flipping this over, I have ballerina hands. I don't want to be overdirecting this too aggressively. I just want to be really nice and have it lay where it's supposed to, making sure I have enough hair on there. Here we go. Get that out of the way. Keep it nice and clean. I'm going to wrangle her head down. <laughs> Sorry, and thank you. Here we go. And yeah. while you're doing that, I'll talk about um, wearing it to share it. If I were to tell you guys three tips, I would tell you wear it, even if it's just one piece, whether it's this method, one piece of colored extensions, whatever it may be, that is definitely, we. Uh, uh, that definitely helps stylists a thousand. Otherwise, be more successful. Sorry, I'm stumbling on my word too. Well, they're going to look at you and be like, well, why are you wearing it though? And whatever reservations you might have, your clients are going to have the same reservation, right? So again, 
fall in love with the product. If you're not in love with it, how are you going to be able to, you know, encourage your clients to want to try it? Another thing too is, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, if you want to be successful in this category <laughs> and really dominate versus dabble, keeping key colors in stock so that you can quickly add them as an add-on with the tape-ins. And this, you don't, you guys are witnessing that you can do a row in five minutes or less. Yeah. I know Katie is an advanced trainer, but even the most inexperienced stylist who has never touched this product before will be amazed at the speed and accuracy when you when you place it in. Yeah, absolutely. And you want to be able to pop those in. Now, did we get a good after? Did you see the after? Yes. Did no, you want that bottle of the chair? Sit down here. Her earring fell off, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use you as a removal too. Yeah. So what do you guys think so far? Any more questions? We'll get to the removal. Yeah, we got a lot of questions. So um Samantha, you guys know her. She says, Are you applying one panel with down from the scalp or closer? Um, so same as with our original tape, we're going down that full quarter of an inch or the height of the panel. And if anything, just even a little bit lower than that is what we have found works even better because we don't want to make sure we want to make sure that we are not pulling or putting any pressure onto um, their biological hair. So density is going to dictate the skinnier the hair, the further down you're going to have to drop for sure. And I always tell people their hair extensions, not scalp extensions, <laughs> yes. because everybody is so used to getting the that. hair color so yeah. close up to the scalp. Just be mindful with um, taping, any yeah. taping method to drop it a little bit lower. Yep. Always that quarter of an inch. And when in doubt, you can take the backing of your tape and check yourself. This backing of the tape should fit between your subsection and you, where the top of your tape starts, right? So when in doubt, check yourself out because too close, it shouldn't look like they just got Botox. It's not going to give them any more longevity. It's just going to give them, um, yeah, some tension alopecia. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, next question. All right, what is the range in color? So how many colors are offered? And then someone asked, what would you guys say are the best colors to keep in stock? Oh, that's a great question. Great well, question. That will all, well, there are 24 colors. We are starting out with the top 24 colors. As this grows in popularity, we will be building that um, color selection for you. Depending on where you live will dictate the stock that you would want to have on hand. And I recommend working with your um, salon development partner to work that out with you. And even if you just start out with the five top colors, I'll tell you in Minnesota, <laughs> I bet it's cream puff, For sure, and it's and cream puff, all the blondes all day long, as you can see. Absolutely. And the cream sodas, the eight and 10 ends, we love all the blondes. So whatever you're doing the most behind the chair, think about like, what's the top hair color that you're purchasing? Same thing with our hair additions, right? So if you're purchasing a lot of like five ends and a lot of six ends, okay, well then you should probably be having some five end cocoa and maybe some six end hazelnut, right? So whatever you're using the most, like that's what you're gonna wanna have on hand for this because even with our taped row, just like our original tape ends, those are a great add-on service for length. And when else can you do length as an add-on service in under 20 minutes? It's pretty rare. So we love that. We all wanna make more money, but work less. Exactly. You know what I want to talk about? Because I know we have about 20 minutes left and I have to talk about the removal. I'm going to call the elephant in the room. Those that do tape and extensions, sometimes I know you have found it painful to remove them because you're doing up to 24 pieces in one head. Am I right? Give me a thumbs up if you felt that before. Yes, exactly. You don't get really excited about it, This, you know, sometimes. But I have to tell you, I have never seen a cleaner removal with a 13 inch tape growth. And I believe it's because the panel construction is designed a little bit differently and it's in one weft or longer pieces. So you're not dealing with all these little points that are going across. There are two components to the line. It's the actual hair. And then this, this roll is really, really tiny, but the tape, can everybody see that? The tape comes in a roll and it's bigger than this. We've just been using it. So it comes 
just like you would retaping is very easy and the education will go over how to be successful at that now i'm going to offer you guys a trick too for the removal a lot of people i'm going to pretend i have a 13 inch um tape row in here or two sections whatever it may be a lot of people will go psh, 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 you know and then what happens is the product becomes evaporated as you start from here to over here because this is alcohol based grain alcohol based now what I would do is section the hair when you do your removal and you obviously you spray it like you normally would a traditional removal. But I'm going to give you a little tip. What I am recommending to the accounts that I work with, don't look at this particular bottle, but there are plastic bottles that you can get that are about this tall with an applicator tip in it. If you didn't know, we have release in the liter size. I would pour the release in an applicator bottle and I would run it along the seam like this instead of spraying. That way it's gonna saturate the panel and then when you use your metal rat tail comb, it just lifts right out of the head. There is no hair stuck in the weft. I have seen probably 10 removals and cannot believe that I'm not seeing any hair come out of that panel. And it's clean and it's easy. And even if you do use your regular release with that tip, it will still turn out that way. But I just thought, and people are really liking Genius. it, giving an applicator so that you can really saturate it and not waste the product. Because when you spray, some of it does get evaporated. Can I add to that, Gina? Absolutely. I love that. And I can't wait to start having the applicator bottle at Reflect because that is such a great idea. Only saturating one row at a time. But like Gina said, we have been doing a lot of removals um, since we started playing with this product a while ago. And it's so interesting because it's the same tape. Yet for some reason, there's just not as much residue left in the hair. And I'm not really sure why that is. Um, but the removal is even shockingly enough because we can do a full head of tape and removals in literally under 15 minutes, typically at Reflect. This takes minutes. It just comes right out. It's amazing, especially with Gina's pro tip. But again, we still love the release bottles. So even if you don't make your own bottle, just really taking the applicator nozzle and putting it right on top of your section, not on top of the panel, because you're never going to break up that medical grade polyurethane panel. That's for sure right on top so it can seep down. And again, like she said, using that metal towel, the tip of that to just choop, 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 get right on in there. But I can't wait to start having it in that applicator bottle because that's a genius idea. Yeah, and a lot of people didn't even know that we had the release in the leader. So it's easier to, to work with. And it saves you money. Exactly. It's cheaper. So uh, that is our last demo. What I want to talk about now is how do I get started? Well, let me tell you this. There are a number of ways to get started. And actually, this product actually has been in high demand because we have been pre-selling it. If you've gone onto our website, you can see you can already start ordering it. You can start playing around with it. We encourage you to do that. And there will be an online tutorial option. I'm always a fan of watching it ahead of time but you do get the best education through Insalon that we can arrange for all of you, as well as regionals. And we will send out what that regional calendar looks like. We have trainings all over the country. If you're in Minnesota, we have a lot of them in the South right now in Florida. So I would have you take advantage of that. The regional training for this is $7.99 a class. It is full day. It includes $650 worth of hair in that kit. And you get all other, uh, a number of other components in it as well. And that will be detailed out for you on the flyer. What a lot of people do is they um, use that kit. You would use a mannequin head and stand during the class. And then they turn around and immediately they will find a model, have the model pay for the hair, and that helps offset the kit. But for fun, we're already back ordered, not back ordered, sold out on some colors because people are playing around with it already. So if you see a color that is already sold out, email your 
um, accounting uh, salon development partner and get on that back ordered list because we are getting another shipment coming in and you don't want to get started in March. You want to get started right in the beginning of the year to really help set um, your books up for the rest of the year. Absolutely. Do we have any other questions? I just read a couple of them. So yeah, we do more into the chat group. Um, but one of them that I just read was, is it easier to wear your hair up in a ponytail, whether it's the full undetectable 13 inch row, or if it's cut in half, being that I've worn all of it. And right now I'm wearing both of that. It's easier either way, just like with our regular tape ins, just making sure that the panels are going all the way up or all the way down, depending on where you want your ponytail placed. You want a top knot, do you want a low ponytail? which is why, again, one of the top five best practices, where to share it. You can authentically talk about it and show it. And again, having all the right products, the brush, really showing them like, okay, you're going to want to brush through your hair or brush it all the way up to get the panels going in the right direction and physically show them how to do it. But I found that both are more comfortable. Angie, what would your feedback be? Yeah, if you just wear it to share it, you can definitely give them an idea of which way to, did you find one more comfortable? Because I know you wore the entire row and then you've also worn it in half. Did you find one easier than the other or are they the same? Ponytail wise? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I like low ponies. <laughs> Were they easy, whether it was cut in half or the yeah. full row? No, it didn't make a difference. Didn't make a difference. And I'm not making her say that. I'm <laughs> just asking her. <laughs> Thank you for that. How about you, Dean? I know you've worn them both too. I I, I just love it all. No, I, I don't same. really notice the difference. The one thing I will say too, the more you wash it too, the more it keeps molding to my it head. It really does. Yep. Just keep pushing it down. And then I know Danielle asked, which, hey, Danielle, I don't see your face on here, but hey, hey, um, are we going to have curly hair options? Oh, gosh, darn it. Not yet. However, we do have some advanced classes. Um, so we always have the perming segment and the custom coloring segment as well for advanced classes that you can take, um, whether we do them virtually or come into your salon and do it. So that is still an option. But yes, no, not a Two things. Look. Someone said, can we see the models one more time if they're sticking around? And then yes. one other thing, Gina, um, could you go over the equivalents again? So uh, the pan tied versus the 13 inch tape in. Yes. So we'll go over really quick. So again, here's Angie. We did the reapp location. I'm just going to wheel her around. Here we are. There we go. So she's got the one row six wefts of the undetectable stone method with Easy Hair Pro. And then again, just the two wefts, or sorry, she technically has two different ones because we have the one 13 inch tape row cut in half. There we go. On each side to give her that fullness right through the front. And I haven't even finished any of the other models yet. So go ahead and get on up. And then Jenna, our first one, who we still haven't even cut yet. And she is just wearing the one row of the 18 to 20 inch in the 6N10 CG English Toffee Dual Blend for that little bit of length. And that little bit of chemical free color. Jenna, how does it feel? So good. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Here we go. And flip her around. And I might even just ask you to. Well, no, can you guys all see her perimeter? Can you like lean back for a second, even? Can you guys all see? Well, actually, stand up, maybe that. Because I want you to see, like, again, with that perimeter, look at how. That is just laying so nicely. And again, I haven't even cut it yet. And that's what I love about the variated ends that we have at Easy Hair Pro is it really does eliminate a lot of the need for cutting. She'll sit back down and again, because we were able to get nice and close to around her face, look at that coverage that she got and just that little pop of brightness. Thanks, Jenna. Yeah. And then Miss Julie, where we did void the warranty by using color space, demi-color, we were able to come on in. And again, I do need to cut her, so we are going to do that. But again, we wanted to fill her in through here and all through her sides where, again, she was just a little fragile, if you will, because she was going from a copper bright. Actually, it wasn't even copper. It was like a flaming red hot red. It was beautiful, but she wanted something more natural. So again, getting that coverage right through here, where if I would have gone all the way around, I wouldn't have been able to go close enough to her face where I wanted it. And we wanted it right through here. So again, filling that in. So I did cut it in half. She does have that little bit of gap through the back, but we're not doing it for length for her. So you can see where that gap is. So again, what I love about showing that is, look at how great it looks where the added hair is. So here's the thing, and this is why having even our tape draw on hand is ideal because if Julie sees us and loves us, even though we weren't doing it for length, we are just trying to fill in her side through here, I could still add on another row through the back. <laughs> and get all of that covered through here and then even take the rest of whatever I cut that doesn't fit and put it in as a bonus right up here. So 
I love all the different options, but for her, we're just gonna fill in the sides. We have that custom color because it was originally that cheeky 10 and B 12 in in the 14 to 16 inch. And it's not, to, I mean, it's about time, you guys. This is so quick and easy. And that's, you know, Easy Hair Pro, we're here to make your life easy. And they do apply so quickly. Yes. You can do a full head in 30 minutes or less, a row in five minutes. I'm I'm just obsessed. I am seriously obsessed. I just, I love the easeability of it. So if you do have those clients that have always wanted to try length, but maybe they don't like having the points you know, like tapes all over their head, you know, four boxes or 24 panels. It's like, oh my gosh. Or they have like a giant head and it's like, oh, that's going to be like six boxes. This is such a great alternative. I'm just going to cut. Do you okay. While you're things? cutting that, I'm going to go back to the question here about, um, it's a two to one ratio, you guys. You know, we don't have something called a machine weft technically. And one of the reasons why is because with machine wefts, sometimes the weight of a machine weft can be too heavy, especially with, some, with somebody who is extremely fine. I do feel like this is a machine weft because you can cut it, but with less weight at the base. And that's why it makes it safer to wear with somebody who is skinny hair. Now you can see the density here. This is one box of the undetectable tape row. And this, Angie, do you want to be my assistant here? Hold this up for them. I'm going to be right here. And this is one box of hand tight. Hair is always so slippery. We <laughs> forgot our placement board. You know, we're human. It's actually in the trunk of my car and it is sub-zero <laughs> we basically. So it's too cold it. to go back <laughs> up, but it's in my trunk. <laughs> I said, no, don't go out there. It's too cold. So you can see it's, this is one box of hand tied. Now the lengths aren't the same. So it, it is showing a little, you know, it's not an exact comparison, but you can see the density difference. This is one box of hand tied. This is one box of undetectable. It takes two boxes of a hand tied to achieve the look of one box of the tape row. So when it comes to pricing, you're gonna get the pricing on this and you're gonna see the 14 to 16 inches for one box is 196. So this box, I think is 98. Gosh, isn't that terrible? I don't even know exactly. It's it 98. just came out. I know, so, and I have so many SKUs and everything in my head. But the point of me sharing this, we can take it down now. The point of me telling you this is because if you were to purchase two boxes of this and one box of that, it's the exact same price. You're getting the exact same density for the same price. Does that make sense? And I see Lisa Herman on here. I want to give a shout yeah, out to my Angie. Lisa Herman. What is you, Lisa? Hey, Lisa. <laughs> she is the queen of extensions. You want to see the perfect stitch? Check out Lisa Herman. Yep. Follow she's her on Instagram. Amazing. She's amazing. We love our girl. Yep. And I can see her eyes light up already. <laughs> Someone asked, do these lay flatter than, flatter than sewn methods? Less bulky feeling? I say yes. Oh, Julia, oh, like, I say yes right away. She just had a high pop right in. Is it comfortable? <laughs> yeah. Yay. Julia so, has not worn this yet. So this, I love this. But she's worn our sewn methods and our tape in. So... Thank Again, you. we don't stress to it. Again, it's not one method over another. It's what's oh. a good fit for your guests. What shears are you going to use? My six inch, my five inch, my razor. It's just having more tools in your toolbox, right? So, and we're all about a customization of a hybrid. That's my absolute favorite. A little bit of everything. No, and I know we're running out of time, but I got a couple of these questions. So someone's asking, how much do you charge for just a one row application? Oh, you guys, we can send that out pricing because we have mid range, uh, we have, you know, low to mid and then high end pricing. Mm -hmm, just I'm going to give you on average a 14 to 16 inch. I would tell you is 450 for the hair and the application for one row. So think about what you can generate behind the chair when doing this method. Again, is all about ease and being mindful of what you're producing per minute. If you didn't catch it in the beginning of the call, this averages $45 a minute. Dang. Now, 
an Olaplex treatment, I did the numbers on that, averages out to be $1.67 a minute. So really be mindful of how you're spending your time. I don't know of any woman that doesn't want more fullness, more volume, more length. Mm -hmm. um, so do both, do the Olaplex treatment and do the extensions. Do some Fusio doses if you're Kerastase. You know, all those add-ons are great because it's about you making more money, but ultimately it's about making your client's hair shiny and happy and healthy, right? Healthy hair is what is in for 2024 and an easy hair pro is the best way to get them there. All while making yourself more money. I think we have like three more minutes. Any more questions? And one thing I do want to say is that I know most of you are already working with Easy Hair Pro, but we do have some newbies. And if you are interested in getting started with us and opening an account to order, or if you are interested in learning about education, I did put my contact information in the chat. It's Alexandra at easyhairpro.com. That's hey, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-R-A. And then my number is 651-274-5895. And you can text or call me, whatever is best for you. And then we just got a couple more questions here. Um, how many rows would you have to do with pretty thick hair? You know, density dictates. So pretty thick hair, I mean, it's like, gosh, how big is their head? If you were to like take that 13 inch wide tape row, is it going to come behind their ears? Is it going to poke them in their eyeballs? Do they have a very blunt perimeter or is it really like chewed off on the end? So all of those things come into play. And again, that's why we love these Zooms, but we love our insulin trainings because we really break down all of those questions. That's a great question, but that's where we have that whole range, right? Because that could be two boxes or two rows of our 13 inch tape row, or it could be three. Density is going to dictate. And again, real estate. And I encourage you guys, you can purchase a hair, start playing around with it. But I'm telling you during the insulin or the regionals, you're really going to learn, you know, if something goes wrong, how do I handle it? Now, a lot's not going to be like terribly wrong, but things do go wrong. So we don't want you guys to go rogue always encourage playing before actually going to a class to get familiar with it and build a foundation and take it from there. And if you're in the state of Minnesota, it does count as your four hours of continuing education yes. hours. So <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's a good point. CEU credits. Any more last questions? We got one more minute. I think we answered them all. All right, Alexander, do you have a slide that you can put up as far as um, really having people see a visual? It's Alexandra at easyhairpro.com with their phone number. Do you have that slide where we can take yes, all give me one second. and then we can respond to you guys. In closing, I really want to thank you guys for all participating. Let me ask you, show of hands, was this helpful for you guys to get a sneak peek? All right, that's yeah, great. We are here. I genuinely am here. Katie is here. Yeah. Angie is here to make your life easier. Extensions are such a fun thing to offer your guests. The transformations, like I said, never get old. It's the beginning of 2024. Find some targets with your customers, play around, and this genuinely will help you professionally and financially. And all I want to say is have fun because sometimes I think we are way too serious <laughs> and we've got to show the passion and how fun here can be. Aren't we lucky to be in the field that we're in? Yes. So thank you, Katie. Thank you, Angie. Thanks, thank everyone. you all. And <laughs> we will be in touch and have follow up with you. All right. Bye. Stay warm. Bye. <laughs>